So we're all heading back up now, back up to the top on the left field. There's the right field over there. And you're going to be in for a real treat when you come and have your experience. You'll stay into this, in this retreat, which is uh, called Satori. Because Emma's a really special person, you know, you can come here and just be and just let the stream soothe you and the beautiful plants will pop up in summer. Walk around the trees and just let the land feed you and nourish your soul. But if you do want to do things, Emma does all sorts of things that are available here and she takes you to understand. Um, Emma, what's the things that are available if they want to? Seeing badger tracks. If you follow the badger track, you might end up where it lives. Well, what animals come to this land? Badgers. And? Deer, roe deer. Yeah. Rabbits. Lots of birds. And you might have a new bee colony possibly another time? Yeah, that will come in time. Lots of birds. So I was just saying that um, you don't have to come and do anything here. You can come and let the land heal you and experience. But um, I was just saying to Emma, what so other things? The badger trail. That's a real. And they use them for years and years, so I've been told. So what are the other things you you might offer if they want if they want to do anything? So if they want to do everything anything, you could do um, some wild food gathering, learning about what f wild foods are really good for us. You said there's nut trees here. There's and nut trees. All sorts of beautiful plants around that you'll yep. you can teach them. And um, basket making. Yep. Um, so you're proficient in, in basket making. You've been trained in basket making. I have. Uh, and uh, get um, uh, commissions these days. And they're really beautiful. And what else might they do here? Is it um, could be all sorts of things. And but about, but about the land, is it then? And plants yep. and basket weaving. Some creative writing. And you meant and creative writing. Yep. Okay. It's all and based around well-being. Okay. And you, you mentioned the guy who had the experience. What, what would you do? You call that something, or the experience you took him through and to help him? We were, were working I worked very intuitively, and that was a little bit um, shamanic based. So, just for me, uh, shamanism is about connecting with the earth and listening to. Yeah, just listening. So, and tell me how you, because you mentioned about so how like you the gateway was all about his present moment and and about him creating and reflecting on where he was and, and then stepping through into the unknown and to, to be able to kind of connect with um, some deeper knowing, working intuitively. And that we was all him. have intuition, it's yeah. about whether or not we give ourselves space to listen to it. And, you meant, and that was his personal, what he needs to do with you and that kind of evolved? Yeah, everybody's, there's no set rules, Yeah, oh, there are certain set rules if you want to come here and just get pissed up it's not going to happen yeah <laughs> um, it's, it's an experience and a it's healing about zone of slowing down to nature's pace and and um you know r rolling with that lovely and you mentioned about how you used your intuition massively to guide you to help him that yeah. man in particular yeah so you use your intuition to tune into the person about what they might need or yeah well i listen to what the person's got to say and and what i do is tune into myself and and you know it's like uh we know if we're hungry and we accept that socially acceptable to, to recognise those feelings and the same if we're thirsty or if we need the toilet they're socially acceptable but if you uh, tune in on a on a deeper level you get to hear other things what I do and that's, and that's what you and help so, them so I ask what does this person need what does this person need and then I connect him with that and, and um, yeah Okay, well our, ki our kids are intuitively calling me now, so yes. let's go. Thank you, that's brilliant.